Hey everyone, this is Chanyo66, and this is another quick tip of the week, basically a bonus that I mentioned in the voltage video. This is going to be C rating. A lot of people wonder what C rating actually is and why we even have it. Basically the C rating is a recommendation by the factory on what the battery can output. So you may have a battery, both of them same voltage, these are three cell, so 12.6 volt, but this one is a 2200, and this one is a 2200. So what's the difference? The C rating. This battery can put out 45 C. That means that it can put out 45 times the capacity in its output. So basically for this, you would take 45C times your pack, which is 2200 milliamps, and that's going to give you your discharge of milliamps. Divide that by 1000, and you'll get your actual discharge rating. So this one has a 45C, and doesn't even mention a burst. Uh, some of them you'll see them listed as, say, 3545. That means it can constantly maintain that 35C rating but burst up to 45C. Uh, burst is usually three to five seconds is all it can handle um, before you start having issues. And that's where your batteries start heating up is if you're riding that line, um, your batteries are trying to put out more than they can actually handle and then they start creating heat. So looking at this one, which is only a 1.5C, that means that this one can only put out 3.3 amp. Because once you do all the math on it, that's all it gets. So, works great for the transmitter it's designed for. Uh, this is for the Turnigy 9XR. Uh, I actually use it for a Turnigy 9X. And once I get my Tyrannus, I'll be using it for that. Um, but if you have any more questions on C rating, just let me know. And I want to harp again that it is a recommendation from the factory. They're currently, that I know of, are no true tests on how much you can actually output. They basically take a cell size and say that, okay, this can put out this much, or the molecular structure of the battery know, is known to put out this much for this amount of material. So it's a recommendation on what to do. It's not a dead set standard. So if you get a battery that says it's 10 C rated, and you're not getting the full power out of it, take it with a grain of salt and always overrate your C ratings. If you have an aircraft that needs 30 amp to fly, don't get a 3000 milliamp 10 C battery because that's riding the line. Get a 3000 milliamp 45 C just because you want that potential there. You don't want your battery to be your weak point. So unless you have an aircraft that you know flies around like most of my wings, I can fly around right around 10 to 12 amp max. And that's enough to almost vertical. So I buy the smallest battery that I can. I buy 15 and 25 C, 2200 milliamp batteries, which work to power these completely fine. Um, but know your aircraft, and that's where you can start adapting your C rating to what you need. Chanyo, out.